Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and I've got a cool review for you. This is definitely tech. Listen, if you have a computer, if you have an Android phone, if you have a, a PC or a Macintosh, and you're just tired of running out of storage and plugging USB drives in, how would you like to get an SSD drive that goes up speeds of a gigabyte per second? Huh? Well, check this out. I picked up the Samsung SSD. Um, this is the T7 model. There's also a T5 model. Now, this is a two terabyte, okay? And uh, comes with a three year warranty. And I am going to be jumping in. I'm gonna unbox this. I'm also gonna be doing some speed tests. So stay tuned, guys, all right? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start the unboxing. You know, for me, I got to tell you, um, as I start doing video and video editing, I started backing up a lot of my files on a flash drive. And I picked up a pretty decent one, but I realized that I should have probably picked up an SSD drive because these are super fast. Now, don't get me wrong, not, not all SSDs are super fast. Um, you know, so this one here, um, actually will do up to a gigabyte a second, which is crazy. So check this out. Look how thin this is. Okay. Um, I don't know what to compare it to, but here's a Sharpie. If you want to look at this in comparison to a Sharpie, uh, very, very thin. All right. Um, USB type C. Okay. Uh, two terabyte and uh, yeah so let's take that out the box let's also see what else is included in the box and I know they give you cables now they do give you two cables one is going to be a USB type C to USB type C which is what you see here and that's what I'll be using uh, I have a Dell uh, G5 gaming PC that I use for some of my video editing and then you get a USB type A to a type C. So it really just depends. I actually have a type C on my computer, um, which, you know, they call it Thunderbolt, um, which is supposed to be uh, pretty quick. So, you know, I haven't done any testing yet and I figured, you know what, let me crack this open. Let me do some tests. So guys, let me grab my laptop and I'll do some speed tests and see how this thing does. Be right back. Okay guys, so we're gonna go over specs real quick, okay? So bottom line, this thing is really super portable and thin, you've seen that already. This is a USB 3.2 Gen 2, okay? And that is the latest. Um, it is shock resistant. You can set a password um, by using the optional software that is included. Uh, thermal control. They also includes two cables, the type C to C and then the USB type A to C, as you saw earlier. The read speeds are up to a gig and the write speeds are up to a gig. This is compatible not only with a PC or a Mac, but guys, this is also compatible with a game control. If you have a console like an Xbox or a PlayStation, and even your Android phone, okay? If you have some of these Android phones, you can plug right into the USB Type-C port right on the bottom. The dimensions are right there in front of you, and the warranty is limited three year. Hey guys, okay, so we are ready for some testing, okay? And let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna be using Crystal Mark. This is the app I'll be using. I will also put a link in the description so you can download that for free and you can check your own hard drive as well as your USB drives and things like that. Um, I'll put links in the description as well for some of the uh, SSD drives if you're interested in picking them up. Now, um, there's three uh, devices here. All right, I'm gonna be doing a hard drive test because this is a G5 gaming PC, okay? And because of that, it basically has an extremely fast hard drive. Um, fastest one I've ever owned. Um, number two, I'm gonna be doing the speed test on the Samsung. And number three, 
Um, I did pick up a long time ago a uh, Ex SanDisk Extreme Pro USB flash drive. This is a USB 3.1, and uh, it can do uh, close to a half a gig per second, okay? But this is a gig per second almost, so I need that, okay? Um, and then after I do the speed test, I'm going to actually take a file that's four gigs and I'm going to throw it in each of these folders to see how fast it actually works as well. So besides a virtual speed test, I'm going to also use a file itself. So let's get started. So using this program, just so you'll know, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Okay. Basically, there's a drop down here. And what you want to do is you got your C drive, your D drive and your E drive. In my case, the C drive is 933 gigs. That's my hard drive. The D drive is the Samsung T7. It's a 1.8 gig, almost two gigs. And then the E drive is the flash drive. That's a 256 gig, which comes up to 238. Let's get started. Let's do the speed test on the hard drive. Check this out. I'm gonna be hitting sequential right here. It'll be coming up any second. It's actually amazingly quick. So right there, it's coming up with a little over three gigs per second. And by the way, it's not done until stop goes away. You see how it says stop? You can stop the test, but I'm not going to. I'm going to run through this now. All right, so the read, and then we're going to wait for the write. So that's the read test. This is the write test. All right, so I'm getting a little over three gigs. Now I'm doing the write, and it does actually five different tests when it does the write. I'm getting, okay, almost 2.5 gigs. Okay, not bad, huh? Yeah, I mean, when you're doing video editing, you need something decent, and I did spend some extra money on this laptop, um, just so I can come up with some nice videos, you know? And learning video editing is pretty cool. All right, guys, so that is done. Now let's go ahead and select D, which is the Samsung drive. Now, I'll tell you, as I start doing this speed test, you'll see the light turn on, okay? Let's get ready and let's go. All right, so the light is lighting up. It is doing its test. Okay. One of five tests. All right, there you go almost a gig on the read, and then we'll see what it does on the right. It's almost over, it's at three of five, four of five. So not bad, nice fast speed on the read. Now it's gonna do the right. All right, there it starts. Oh, look at that. Very close to a gig as well on the right. Not bad, Samsung. Pretty nice drive, guys. I gotta tell you. Okay. And that's almost done. All right. Next up, we're gonna do the test on the SanDisk, and that has a little blue light, so you'll see that go off. Let's go ahead and get that done. Drop it down to E, right there. Okay, and start now. The blue light is going off. All right, so that's actually working there. And it's uh, gonna start in a second. Let's see how fast it is. Eh, not bad. Not bad on the read. Biggest tip for you also is make sure that you put these drives on the correct ports. As you know, some USB drives are faster than others. USB ports, I should say. Um, you put this on the wrong port and you're going to be very disappointed in the speed. So make sure that you're putting it on a fast 3.1 or 3.2 USB port. All right, so it looks like the read is done. Not bad, it is now going to start the write. So that's not bad for a flash drive, right? Okay, and the write, it's okay. I mean, look, when you think about the Samsung, that's a beast. But 
$129 for a flash drive versus, you know, $299. You know, a little more money, but you're getting 2 terabytes versus 256 gigs. All right, and that test is almost over. And then I've got one more test for you guys, so I want you to see this now, okay? I am going to take, I have a file here of one of my videos, all right? And this file, if I right-click it and go to Property, is, is basically uh, 3.9 gigs, okay? If you can see that, it is 3.9 gigs. So we're going to get out of that. And I am now, uh, the E drive folder is right here. That is the flash drive, and the T7 is obviously the SSD. So let's start off by throwing this in the SSD, and let's start a timer and see how long it takes. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to the timer um, once I drop the file. So I'm going to drop this file. I'm going to grab it for a second. I'm going to move it over here. And as soon as I drop it, I'm going to hit start. Now, that's the T7. It should be very quick. Go. All right. 35, 38, 66, and done. All right. 9.4 seconds for a 4 gigabyte file, almost 4 gigs. Okay. Now, let's reset this, and let's do the same thing by throwing this file into the flash drive and see how it does. Grab it, okay, grab it, and then I'm gonna hit start as soon as I let go. Let go, start, okay. All right, guys, and get ready to hit stop. 23%, 26, 42%, 52, almost done. Twenty-one seconds. So, guys, you know, again, very makes sense, right? Almost double the amount of time it took the Samsung. A little more than double. All right, guys. You know what? I hope this was helpful. Um, seeing the speed test as well. Give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate if you can give us a thumbs up. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. Um, again, I'm going to put the links in the description for the free speed test app. And I'm also going to put um, some links in there for some of the SSDs, including the Samsung and the SanDisk flash drive. If you're new to the channel, click on the Tech Made Easy logo on the upper right side. Join the family, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell. You'll get notified of new videos. And uh, I will also put some other playlists on the screen. Guys, thanks so much. Have a good one.